Hello, I'm David from Winning Solutions. I hope you're having a great day and thank you for viewing our web page and templates. At Winning Solutions, we have a huge array of database templates to choose from for almost any business need you have. And the, all our databases can and are meant to be customized down to the finest detail to meet your company's specific needs. Shrink-wrapped software generally doesn't allow that. You have to use it as is with no customizations. With Winning Solutions, the licensing is very generous. The app can be used by as many people on as many computers as you want, and applications can be customized to your heart's content down to the finest detail by you or anyone else with a knowledge of Microsoft Access. We hope this video will be all the help you need. Are you trying to create an Access database but find that it's too much work? Or you could be doing something more productive with your time. WSI can do all the hard work for you. Just contact us via the information below this video. We will work with you to determine how much time and money will be needed to build your new database. If you'd prefer to have your new database built with .NET, Microsoft SQL Server so it can run on your Windows desktop or anywhere in a web browser, we could do that too. So this is the record management demo, a database demo. Uh, this is a template, meaning that none of no, nothing here can be changed because I'm looking at, at the uh, at the free downloaded version. But once you buy this, you can make any changes you want. You can customize it. You can include it in a larger application. So the idea of this application is that being able to call up documents, pictures, or other files from within your existing or future access database, that's a powerful thing. I mean, you can view invoices. You can view photos of items or jobs without having to figure out, you know, which folder are they in. And in some cases, you may even be able to avoid the purchase of sophisticated document management programs. And of course, you can view files through this too if you have the application that will open the file type that you entered. So. We can have several categories, and there's one button down here that says Maintain Categories. Again, you can put any categories you want in here. But mainly the way the thing works is you want to hit Find, and we're going to select a file. And here I'm going to select a spreadsheet. Now, it's going to fill in the file path. There's the path, and there's the file itself. We can enter a description. And that's pretty much it. Then we select a category. I want to emphasize these, these are not file types. They're categories. So it, it, whatever I select here will not impact, uh, how the file is viewed. This is merely for organization purposes. Uh, so it's a spreadsheet, although a spreadsheet could be an invoice, could be a document, right? So there's certainly overlaps, but we're talking about general categories here. And once that's saved, I can click the view. And because I have Excel, L, the file will open in Microsoft Excel. Again, just make sure that whatever file type is here, that you have an application on your computer that will open it. It's very much like if you've ever opened an application and you get in Windows and you get that window saying, you know, please select an app that will open this file. Right. And so you got, you got to have, make sure that you have file types, uh, applications associated with the file types. In this case, it's an Excel file. So it would be Excel. But, uh, the way you generally add, again, we use the find and we can really choose any type of pick. You know, we can choose an image as well. And the default on this computer, well, let's, let's make it an, a picture. The default on this computer is the image viewer or photo viewer. And so it takes a moment, but it will open. Yeah, there we go. It'll open in photos. So it'll open whatever the default program is for that file type. And lastly, of course, we can filter. And that's one of the whole points here. But there are so many things we can add on to this. Either you or someone else with a knowledge of access could add more categories. Well, you could add more categories just by maintaining categories. But, you know, you can put in more sophisticated filtering and searching. You can put in... Uh, a, a second category, like if you want to put things in two categories, you can do that. Uh, so really the sky's the limit. Our applications are templates. They're meant to be expanded. They're meant to be included in larger applications. So this has been the Record Management Database Template. Thank you for watching. We hope this video was all the help you needed for your Access Database. 
If you are struggling to create an access database that does what you need it to do and just want someone to make that happen for you, that is the business we are in. Our contact information is below the video. You can reach out to us and we will work with you to determine how long it will take and how much it will cost to get your database up and going. If the time and cost are acceptable to you, WSI will get to work and make your database vision a reality. Perhaps Microsoft.net or MS SQL Server would be the better choices for your new database, so it can run on your Windows desktop or anywhere in a web browser. WSI will help you make this determination if you like. Again, thanks for watching. Please remember to like and subscribe, and have a great day.